Hey Psych2Goers, welcome back to another video. Today, we'll be talking about some uncomfortable pieces of advice that may resonate. Have you ever done something that you really regret? Are you stuck in a relationship that's burning you out? Do you sometimes wish you were a whole different person? Sometimes the things you experience can feel like it's too much for a single human to handle. And you may have already realized that there's only so much that you can do about it. But let's face it, it's only in the face of difficulty that you realize your growth. This article won't contain a lot of sweet words. Rather, it's time for plain honesty. Here are some uncomfortable truths about life that can make you stronger. Number one, life is long. This may catch you out of the blue, but it's true. You probably heard the term life is short too much. Maybe you've even grown tired of it. So let's switch it up a little. Once you take the time to reflect, there is plenty, maybe too much time to do a lot of things. How do you choose to spend your days? Are you often bored? Are you super busy? Life is generally long. In fact, globally, life expectancy has increased by more than six years between 2000 and 2019. So when you finally get to the last stage of your lifetime, do you think you'll feel like you had a life worth living? Or will you feel like you wasted it despite the number of chances it gave you? Start being mindful. Make mistakes. Make a lot of mistakes. Life is too long for you to get stuck on something that takes up only a third of it. Take your time, but don't give up on doing what you truly want. If you really must, do it after you've tried your best. Number two, don't excuse a cheater. Have you ever experienced being cheated on? Do you have a friend whose heart was torn apart because their partner cheated on them? Are you thinking of giving a second chance to a cheater? According to a new study published in the Archives of Sexual Behavior, someone who has cheated before is three times more likely to cheat again in their next relationship. Cheating hurts. So whether you're in a current relationship with a cheater or are considering being in a relationship with someone who has cheated before, it's essential to know what you're getting into. And frankly, it's not worth it. Although there are situations wherein cheaters don't commit the same mistake again, it doesn't excuse the pain and betrayal. Save yourself from anxiety, chronic stress, and even depression. Really try to think before giving a second chance to a cheater. But in the end, there are always two sides to a story. So if you're a person who has committed this mistake before and want to make peace with it, comment down below for a part two article on how to make peace with your past mistakes. Number three, you can do your best and still end up disappointed. Have you ever made a big life change only for it to end up flopping? Do you have a moment where you're so confident about something happening and it just doesn't? How many times have you tried your best and ended up with a broken heart? As a human, you're born to have hope. According to Snyder and others, hope is a positive cognitive state based on a sense of successful goal-directed determination and planning to meet these goals. And naturally, when you fail to meet them, you end up with sadness and lack of motivation. Usually, people stop at this point. When you fail to meet your expectations, you might think it's just better to not set any at all or settle for lower ones. It's fine to give yourself time to be disappointed. Whether it's a week or a month, give yourself the rest you deserve, but never stop yourself from dreaming. Once you understand that life is open to a series of disappointments, you can then realize that there really is no way but up. Do things that make you feel strong, empowered, and successful, even if it ends differently than what you imagined. Most of the time, the lesson is in the journey. What did it make you realize? Are you still the same person you were five years ago? Being disappointed in something means you've tried your best, and that truly does count for something. Number four, there is no best choice. What if I did this? What if I never did that? Did I make the right choice? Too many hours in your life have probably been spent overthinking your previous actions. It's good to regularly reflect, but do your previous actions eat you up inside? Do you feel like you could have done better? The thing is, you'll never know. You won't identify the answer now, and you probably still won't identify it no matter how much you overthink in the future. There just is no best choice. It's easy to get lost in regret and the feeling of, Ugh, I should have done that, but in the end, it's time to make peace and let go. You'll make more mistakes, 
you will mentally beat yourself up for saying the wrong thing. And that's just how it is. It's how you learn. So don't be too harsh on yourself and try to understand what that moment teaches you. A life where you only make right choices is a life where you can't relate to others, become mature in mindset, and understand loss.